Hello, this is Athena with AMG Creates, and I I let time get away from me. Uh, <laughs> so I'm using Sweet Spiders. Um, the what is this called? Hold on, the Spooky Forest backdrop. Need to find my my recording thing again. There we go. Um, inside out stitch, stitched rectangles and some acetate. So, what had happened, without being an excuse, but you know, just want to update you on how things are going, I procrastinated and my motivation has been, I need to just do things without trying to find motivation, because obviously, it's not here. Anyway, um, so what I'm doing is cutting that, that is estate. Um, I got it at Michael's, and it comes in that, that small size. It also comes in a bigger size. It is also very hard to cut, so what I did was I cut it with scissors. As you can kind of see on the bottom, I didn't want to put it over um, in front of the camera so that I didn't like blind you with the light that's right there. Because as you can see, there is a ring light. And... This is me being nice. So anyway, cutting that so that I can turn this into a a kind of a shaker card. Uh, I never do well with these because I don't know where my anti-static thing is. I know that I keep moving it, but I don't know where it went. So anyway... Um, this is best to use with a anti-static powder tool. Uh, usually it's just like a little bean bag thing of I don't know what kind of powder's in it. Probably baby powder or something. Uh, Simon Says Stamp is probably your best bet for it if you can't already find it on Lawn Fawn. So basically what I'm doing is I am building a god box of doom. I hate glitter. Um, this glitter that I used is called... <laughs> Hold on. It's called Cosmic, which I also got over at Michael's. Um, it's got, like, blue stars and silver hexagons and some little black dots of doom and stars and it's lucky charms, but glitter in a, a night sky sort of thing. Yay. <laughs> um, also, what you're need, you'll need is foam. Um, there are a couple of ways to do this. You can use foam strips like what I'm doing right here. Uh, you can also um, have sticky foam um, and then cut it using two of the inside out stitched rectangles. Uh, there are a couple of things that you could do that would work for this. Um, this was just the easiest one that I had. And I only did um, just one, like one layer. If I wanted more movement, I guess that I would have done more. It looks really cool without moving. There are still some pieces that are moving. Um, so the idea anyway with this is that there is a spider web and there's a fly that's caught in it and the spider is just patiently waiting for that fly to drop into the trick or treat bag. Um, I had all of this already like figured out and everything. It was just doing it that was my problem and I realized that I need to just have motivation or just do the thing. At this point, it needs to be like Nike and just do it. I was a little surprised whenever I opened this up because most of them have the little safety plastic ring of doom. And this did not. <laughs> um, so yeah, it goes on there. Then you'll see me shake it. So I actually, I like how this looks. I'm a little bit disappointed whenever I do this because it it's supposed to be a shaker card, so I have to find my anti-static crap and actually 
do this, and I need to find it before I start the Christmas cards. So I have a couple more weeks. Um, I have this week coming up and next week, and then I'm going to be starting Christmas cards. So you kind of need to find it before then, or just buy another one. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that is the spider web. You can't see it, but I put, um, what is this, glow-in-the-dark glitter glue on it? It doesn't really glow very well. Yeah, uh, that was fun because it took forever to dry, and I think that's where I stopped. I wanted to get that all done as quickly as possible and let it dry, and then I just stopped. So ta-da, that's the fly, and this spider is just patiently waiting. I could have put another spider in there, thinking that, you know, it was like, here's your treat. Mwahaha. Um, I am also using the happy, happy, happy stamps. Uh, because I like the first happy that's on there. I just wasn't sure what color that I needed to make it. Um, and then I was going to stamp it out in on a white thing and then cut it out and I was the idea is happy Halloween it goes on the inside of the card but there were a lot of things that I was going to do but I didn't want it on the front of the card so I just decided that I was going to put it on the inside I needed to test to see what kind of ink works I didn't want to just do black I do really like how this looks I think um, for some of my other ones, I'm going to do this with, like, bird's nests and whatnot. I don't like shaker cards, because I don't like glitter. <laughs> but anyway, here I am testing the three usual suspects for Halloween colors. It doesn't work out too well. Try the orange. The orange really doesn't pick it up either. So purple, purple works pretty good. So try to get that in there. Um, and I am using the happy from happy, happy, happy. And then the Halloween is from the sweet spiders. And that is pretty much it. Um, so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm sorry that it's late. I will be doing something to, Im to make this a little bit easier on me and on you, I suppose. But either way, I hope that you enjoyed it. I will be making more shaker cards later in the year. Um, but yeah, happy early Halloween. And thank you for watching.